hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. All my network supporters, the fans, the subscribers. Subscribe to the channel. You know, stay in tune with all the content and everything that we've got going on. I didn't even know I was going to blog today, but it's a subject that's going on that, you know, started in the last couple days. So I figured, you know, why not talk about it, you know what I mean? Because y'all want to know everything that's going on as far as with Battle Rap, as far as all the no-shows that are going on, the end of the pay-per-view era. John John has an event coming up called You Had to Be There, which is not having a pay-per-view. And just all of the things that are going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, shout out to B-Magic. In my blog yesterday, I did mention that he no-showed. He actually was on day one. You know what I'm saying? So he battled on day one and then he battled somebody at another event. So B Magic was there. So it was a it was a lot of no-shows. Out of it was a hundred no-shows. I got 99 right. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Magic, you know what I'm saying, and everything that he's got going on. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It was a couple of scattered performances that was good here and there, but like I said, the pay-per-view was just too bad. I, I what you want me to say? Um the pay-per-view era is coming to an end. And I tried to think back as to what was one of the breaking points, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that with research, you know what I'm saying? Like researching things, it, it helps you know, you know, what what was a turning point for you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pulling up, I had pulled up my um, my rap grid, you know what I'm saying? Um, to see when was the last time I, you know, purchased pay-per-views myself, you know what I'm saying? When did things go to the left? You know, so first of all, um, there are a lot of leagues who I get the pay-per-views from, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll hit me up, they'll send me the pay-per-views, I recap them, et cetera, et cetera. Some do, some don't, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? If I wanna see the event, I'ma watch it. If I don't wanna watch it, and it's between myself and SP. Sometimes he'll get a joint, I get it, whatever the case may be, right? So I looked in my rap grid and the last time I purchased a pay-per-view was last year. I have not purchased a pay-per-view in 2024. I say that because I used to purchase a lot of them. The last one I purchased was Cancel Christmas, even though I hosted it. Like sometimes I'll host an event and I'll still get it because I have like friends or family that want to watch the joint. So I cop it and send it to them, you know what I mean? Like it is what it is. So that was the last pay-per-view that I actually purchased. You know what I'm saying? Some have been given to me, some I've seen, some I've seen however I wanted to. And what makes me revert back to a lot of the old ways is like, yo, are we, am I really getting what I want? Am I getting, is like, cause a lot of y'all people don't understand, is that relationships, consumer relationships with companies is what helps build the brain trust. It makes me say I have the confidence to keep purchasing something, you know what I mean? If you go to a restaurant, you can go to a restaurant one time and the service could be bad, the waitress could take too long to come back, you know, she didn't bring you another drink, you asked for cheese, you didn't get cheese, she talked to your girl in a way you didn't like, and you're not coming back to that restaurant ever, right? Consumer behavior. Like I said, I'm in school. I, I, I got you. Off the arm, too. So, the behavior between the consumer and the product is what causes you to make the purchase. If you don't feel like you're being respected, you don't feel like, you know, shit is going good, you don't feel like what you're buying isn't there. Imagine if you was to purchase a pay-per-view for like a tank or a... Terrence Crawford or whatever the case may be, right? And you're watching the event as it goes on and you find out like an hour before the main event, Ryan Garcia is not gonna be there, Devin Haney's not gonna be there, Tank isn't fighting. Do you know what kind of, uh, people would never, it would take one time for that to happen in their professional world, all right? So let's move it to battle rap. Everybody wants to be a league until it's time to be a league. It's like 86 leagues out here. Everybody's got a fucking league. Every week, there is a battle rap event on every week. And sometimes it's two on at the same time. Like this event, 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 event. Everybody want $50, $50, $60, $70. Everybody's want money, money, money. But now, the market has been so oversaturated with all of these events that they just fly by night. It's like a flash in the pan. The battlers are battling on every card. It's watered down. Niggas is choking. They're not showing up with three rounds. So, and now, it's... <laughs> It's gotten to the point where artists are not even showing up at all. 
there's been a list that's been compiled, it made it to me today, of all the no-shows in 2024 alone, and they have 15, 15 no-shows. It's almost four or five no-shows a month in Battle Rap. All of these battles, all of these cards, all of these reasons. It's just no show after no show after no show. And look at all the names on here. These are not like like bottom of the card guys. It's a lot of main event guys, high level guys, big name artists that are just not showing up to their battles for whatever reason. But they want us to purchase these, these events. And a lot of the names that we see here are the reason why we purchase these events. It's inexplicable at this point. We cannot sit here and continue to act like, you know, this is a behavior that can keep a culture going. People are not going to be sub subscribing that, you know? It happens a lot. Uh, I went, like I said, I flew all the way to LA thinking I was going to see Jag versus Clips. Didn't see it. I was like, wow, this is really a thing now. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. It's like every event. The only real, the only leagues that can really guarantee you that the people are gonna be there is URL, Main Chrome. Not you know, trenches just had dot and uh, clean not happen. And Chrome doesn't have battles that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? When um Couture and all of that, so they can't even guarantee you that the battle. Only people like a really and URL can't even really guarantee because A so I mean versus OP didn't happen. Somebody told a lie one day. So no league can guarantee, <laughs> I was about to pick one, there's really nobody that can guarantee it's going to happen. And then I hear about, you know, it's life, it's life, you know, people got life, and, but like why people don't have life before they accept these battles? Like why people don't have life, things that's going on, you know, and I understand that, you know, you can have a little thing. Like I know a dude that said he paid Ice almost 10 racks to battle uh, pass, and he never got his bread, he never got his battle or anything. These guys are literally just getting people's bread, not showing up for the battle. That's why I said the other day, you could pay me, I could jump on the card, give me a battle, pay me a couple thousand, I'll promote it and not show up. I could promote it well. I, I told you, I, 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 I got the paperwork, baby. I'll promote it great. If you got money to just give away. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a list, whole list. And don't be upset, it ain't over yet, it ain't over yet. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of these guys are really literally getting money, not showing up for the battles. People are purchasing cards, having trust that these battles are going to show up, and they're not showing up. And then let's go even further, the leagues. There's a lot of leagues that are knowing this stuff before the battle happens. And you're still having people purchase it. You're still, have, you're still promoting it as if the person is going to be there, and they're not. And, and leagues don't know. Every time y'all do this, your credit score just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. It's to the point now when battle, when the cards be popping up, I could pick which battle on the card ain't gonna happen. I've done it. I've literally done it more than once. Like the last four cards I've picked a battle. That ain't happening. If that happens, I don't think that one's gonna happen. And they don't happen. And the thing is, the leagues they bear responsibility too. Y'all are not being transparent. You are not. You're not telling the fans, especially when you know. Like, I guess sometimes the people don't be knowing. They be finding out the last minute. But a lot of times, these niggas be knowing. Because I be knowing. If it makes it to me, it should make it to a league owner. And it will make it to us. People will reach out. The artist, that's the other artist is going to reach out. Yo, this is what's going on. Booty, booty, boo. Because they want you to put it out there. And the thing is, with these artists, if they know they're not going to show up, why not call the other person and let them know? If nothing else, let the other person know, yo, I ain't gonna make it, woo 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 That's what just happened with Kid Slade. He goes all the way down to Maryland, or wherever they was at, to battle Ace Ami. Ace Ami is not battling, he doesn't let him know, and he doesn't hit him up. Like, yo, don't even waste that trip, I'm not coming. People is getting that VOD to see that battle in particular. It's just one. Uh, so, John John was was very vocal on Twitter today. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was saying what he was saying as far as what's going on. He said, number one, the fans are going to have to take some blame too. Y'all too trusting. Y'all buy pay-per-views from off-brand leagues and when shit don't go right, y'all want to take it out on the leagues that do good streams. Stop buying anything. Now, I do get this. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I am a proponent of one that believes this. 
If I know that there's a restaurant that cooks stuff the way I like it, if another one pops up that's not too far, that doesn't make things the way I like, I might not have to go to the one that I don't know, right? Now, here's the thing. The leagues have to like, kind of like, they, you can't, you, you gotta like, stand up and take these kind of stances against this shit. For me, I think my disdain and my lack for cop and pay-per-view started with the King Bow event. The way that event was handled, the way everything went on, and in the lay, I was like, yo, this is crazy. They did refunds for everyone, but I told myself from around that time, last March, April, May, I was like, ah, ah. I remember back in the day, they had a pay-per-view, you'd be excited to cop. John John had that Super Bowl event, yeah, there was some one-rounders on there, but them shits was legendary, you know? He had Rock versus Bad News. He had Loso versus Briz. I don't know Los, but I'll approach Los. That's one of the best one-rounders ever. That Rock splashed over the way. I, hey, listen, take my money. If you got one-rounders like that, I, I got no issue with it. That was a great event, and I bought it. It was a great event. But the one-rounders that they're giving us now aren't that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just one nigga spitting around. It's just mad random shit. Another nigga spitting a one round, and these niggas be choking the fucking one-rounders. <laughs> so we keep like people keep buying streams off of these platforms, and they're not reputable. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You don't. You you guys got streaming issues. You're not booking avocado. You got your man doing it. Some of these battles are being filled with iPhones and shit. Like, come on, son. Y'all niggas want to get bread. It's like you, you're not putting nothing in it, but they want to get something out of it. So here's the deal. That was the first tweet that he said, right? And then he made another tweet that uh, that that pretty much referenced the same thing. He was like, uh, so much I want to say about the lack of battle rap, the, the state of battle rap pay-per-view today. You know what I'm saying? He's basically saying, so much I want to say about the state of battle rap today with all the no-shows and lack of pay-per-view support, but I'm going to shut up. You know what I'm saying? He says, uh, so ahead of the curve, my next event has no pay-per-view. Why does his next event have no pay-per-view? Because pay-per-view is being bootlegged. Niggas is bootlegging. Discords, bootlegs, Zoom meetings, however they got to do it. Because, number one, it's free. You can pay $50 or you could go watch it for free. You're losing your credit score here because of all the bullshit that's going on with the events and the niggas who's hosting them. Some of the niggas be hosting the joint, they have it for free. They just want you, they just to pop up. <laughs> niggas will roll the red carpet out just for you to be there. Just to come through and watch it. You no? Know? And you can't even, niggas can't even really be mad no more. Like you can't even be mad. Like, like remember when they was having all the outrage about the bootleg shit, you know what I'm saying? And we had all this, the media was bootlegging shit, niggas was going in on them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you look at it consequently, it's like niggas, they, they niggas is going to be bootlegging. Because <laughs> the events, the quality of the events is not really like that no more. I'm just saying, it is what it is. Once niggas, because first of all, we in a business with niggas. Niggas like free shit anyway. Just calling it like a call. Niggas like free shit anyway. So you can't give a nigga a reason to want to go get some free shit. You got to kind of like still do a great business. So it's like some niggas will still cop. But once you start doing dirty bit, niggas be like, nah, man, I ain't fucking with that shit, man. Nah, I ain't going to cop. Niggas just going to get it how they get it. Because you see everybody still, <laughs> everybody still sees the battles. You know? But like I said, I have not copped a pay-per-view since last year. Be that as it may, like I said, a lot of the events get sent to me. That's a blessing too. But if I can't, if it don't get sent to me, I gotta see it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta see it, man. Hey, I ain't, I ain't telling niggas what to do, but I'm not telling niggas what I won't do. Cause like I said, my fifty dollars is more important than this. My sixty dollars is more important than this. When especially us with kids, when you got kids, the economy, you got all this shit going on. You got school, you got all this shit to pay for. Ain't nobody about to be out here dropping no $50, $60 on half the niggas that's not going to show up. And niggas, I remember, yo, when I did the video yesterday, I seen niggas in my comments, like, they was more mad at the fact that I got a battle wrong with a no-show than niggas no-showing at all. I'm like, all right, cool, I got the magic shit wrong. What about the other eight no-show? <laughs> that's how you know that niggas is programmed to only re recognize what your error was. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, cool. I told, I told Magic on Twitter, yo, you know what I'm saying? You was there, cool, good, you good, great, you straight. What about everybody else? And it's not just the only event. And I'm telling you, when the King Bow shit, once the King Bow shit went down, niggas was kind of like, all right, this battle rap shit becoming lunch meat. 
Niggas ain't really like fucking with it. You know what I mean? Like for real, for real. If the event is good, people gonna cop. But niggas, first of all, some niggas is gonna bootleg anyway. But you don't wanna help push niggas to the bootleggers. A lot of y'all leagues is pushing niggas. Cause you got people not showing up, y'all not telling us, and then we not getting the battle. Three knots is a lot. <laughs> Three knots is a lot. Not showing up, you're not telling us, and they not rescheduling it. What you want? Three three knots is a lot, my nigga. Bing, bing, bing. That's a lot of knots. I'm just saying. Three knots is a lot. Yeah, and then we ain't getting nothing on the back end but another pay-per-view next month that you niggas want 50, 60 more dollars for. I'm telling you, you got to do right by the people that spend money with you. Because if you don't do right by the people that spend money with you, they're going to stop. Eventually. You know? So, and, and, and in the comments, let me know in, in the comments, let me know what you think as far as like what the whole situation is. Is the pay-per-view era dead? Do you still spend money on pay-per-views? Are you bootleg gang? Are you see them when they drop? Whatever the case may be. And what's the, what's your thoughts, you know what I'm saying? On these leagues and all these issues that's going on and all these no-shows. There should be no reason. Bro, there would, in years past, we would never have 15 no-shows by May. <laughs> Five months, my nigga. We are averaging three a month, my nigga. Three, six, nine, I don't have that thing, nigga. We average three a month, my nigga. That is a lot of no-shows. And the leagues keep booking the same artists over and over and over and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I can't knock a nigga because you only work as much as they're going to pay you. If a nigga going to keep paying you to be dumb, you know what I'm saying? Then it is what it is. But uh, as a fan, I have not copped the pay-per-view in 2024. And I can't tell you if I will. I cannot tell you if I'm going to cop anything this year. I mean, it is what it is. And to the benefit of me, I've been at a lot of them recently, you know what I'm saying? So that helps out. But regardless, I don't know if I would have copped even if I wouldn't have been. Uh, I seen a video of a, of a Los, King Los and Diddy or whatever the case may be. I seen niggas going in on him and shit. I just thought it was funny that he tried to like walk through a door that wasn't there and shit. A nigga said, reverse. <laughs> Where would you reverse it to? <laughs> I seen T-Top call him out to battle and shit. T-Top called and he was like, yo, you want battle in August and shit. So I know he about to walk you away if it was to happen. I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But the video, that video footage is crazy. And niggas going to tell him, I mean, going to continue to do it. Um, but Los, that shit was shit. That shit was funny. Nigga said, and who was the nigga in the chef hat? Why the nigga walking around saying, you know, that's a lot of funny shit going on at one time. But uh, shout out to John, John and Don. Bullpen battles. Uh, the card coming up. He got... Uh, uh, Bad News vs. JC, Loso vs. Rosenberg, Twerk vs. Clone again. This is one of back. Is this shit happening, my nigga? Just let me. My nigga, I gotta know if it's all there. You know what I'm saying? Is it? Is, if it's taking too long to lock up, then bring it back, nigga. What you want me to do? Is the shit in the bag? Nigga, is the shit in the bag, nigga? What the fuck? Is my shit in the bag? All right, cool, nigga. I uh, hate shopping with you, niggas. I don't know if my shit is always gonna be here. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't even have to check. Bring me the scale, man. This nigga's playing with me, son. I don't know if all this shit gonna be in the bag. Nigga got the nigga top shit. I don't know if the nigga gonna be. So he got Twerk vs. Clone again. Um, Bad News vs. JC. Rosenberg Raw vs. Loso. XL vs. Reggie P. Lou Castro vs. D Flame. Super Black vs. Dre Dennis. Jay Moore vs. Deuce. DIA Any Man vs. PG Skill and Cash Flow. Rizzy vs. Mallory X. No pay per view. He is dressing that. Um, probably not doing no pay per view because niggas is taking them Jones. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yeah, let me know what you think, man. It's wild out here. I'm gone. <laughs>